Good evening and welcome to Attleboro High School's annual awards night celebration. Tonight, we will celebrate students being honored for scholarship, leadership, creativity, technical expertise, and service. Qualities that are all pillars of our Blue Pride community. While not traditional, this ceremony is no less significant. We are so proud of tonight's honorees. I would ask that you first consider joining me in a moment of silence for all those impacted by the devastating effects of COVID-19. Thank you. You all remain in my thoughts and prayers as we navigate unprecedented times. From a logistical standpoint, some students will receive more than one award tonight. We strongly encourage everyone to remain with us throughout the broadcast. Physical awards and certificates will be presented at a later date. A night like tonight is always special as it is a testament to the powerful teaching and learning that takes place at AHS each day. But this year, these honorees also provide us with hope. In these difficult times, giving someone hope is an immeasurable gift. It is a light in darkness. It is strength through despair. And I am confident that this generation will make our communities better in the aftermath of this pandemic. To the award recipients and families, I congratulate you. Once again, you make me proud to be your principal. And now, I'd like to open the awards festivities. The United States Army Reserve National Scholar Athlete Award Program recognizes students for superior performance in academic and athletic achievement in organized school sports. This year, the two recipients of the United States Army Reserve Scholar Athlete Award are Eleanor Graber and Nathan Seibert. Annually, the American Legion and the Women's Auxiliary choose 12 Attleboro students to attend the prestigious Boys and Girls State Conference College in June at the Stonehill College campus. While this conference has been canceled, students were selected based on outstanding academic performance, potential for leadership, and commitment to after-school activities. We have had a number of well-qualified candidates apply for this leadership opportunity. Students were asked to write an essay about leadership and interview with a selection committee. We are pleased to announce this year's Boys and Girls State Leadership Awards presented to Vanessa Chan, Abriana Cugno, Danielle Flores, Eleanor Graber, LeVar Holness, Madison London, Margaret Parika, Liba Cresci, William Rooney III, Nicholas Tellier, Imani Unegbu, and Dylan Wade. Each year, 10,000 high school sophomores from across the country are chosen to attend leadership seminars to hone their leadership talents and apply them to become effective, ethical leaders in their community. This year's honoree selected to attend the Hugh O'Brien Youth Foundation Leadership Conference is Abigail Pliska. Each year, one sophomore from every Massachusetts high school is invited to participate in an exciting hands-on learning experience at the Mass Star Civic Leadership Program. This year's honoree chosen to attend the Mass Star Civic Leadership Program is Sean Marshall. Each year, the Prudential Company sponsors the Prudential Spirit of Community Award to students who demonstrate outstanding citizenship. This year's honorees are Samir Kanji and Parker Sweeney. The Massachusetts School Administrators Student Achievement Award is presented this year to Grace Francois Aneville. The Blue Pride Award for Academics and Service goes to two juniors who demonstrate outstanding service to our school community. This year's honorees are Nicholas Martins and Margaret Parika. We are very proud to announce that four seniors have been acknowledged by the College Board as National Merit Commended Scholars. These students represent only 3% of seniors in the nation to have earned this distinction. Congratulations to Nathaniel Fisante, Emily Gittle, Jenna Gittle, and Eric Yip. At this time, I'd like to turn the program over to Mr. Pete Tarsi. Thank you, Mr. Rooney. It gives me great pleasure to present the Attleboro High School Drama Club's annual Leading Lady and Leading Man Awards 
to two seniors for their four years of dedication to theater here at Attleboro High School. Our leading lady has one of the most positive attitudes I've ever seen in the drama club. She accepts and completes any task asked of her without question. This year, she serves as the student president of our organization, and she directed our annual touring children's play in search of the golden teardrop in the fall. Our leading man has grown from small roles with few onstage lines to a lead actor, showcasing tremendous versatility with roles ranging from dramatic, playing an older gentleman with Alzheimer's disease in last year's One Act Festival, to comedic, playing a teenage Dungeons and Dragons nerd in our fall production of She Kills Monsters. With great respect and admiration, I present these awards to two dedicated and talented people whose presence within our organization will be missed as they graduate to other endeavors. This year, the Dram Drama Club's Leading Lady and Leading Man Awards respectively go to Fiona Cloud and Jack Vermilia. And now, Ms. Becky Halsey will present awards for the Community Service Learning Program. The first award that I'll be presenting tonight is the Doug Matthews Environmental Impact Award, which goes to a student or a group of students who have made significant contributions to help the environment. This year's recipients have collaborated in their effort to raise awareness for environmental issues facing our community. They organized climate cafes and engaged their classmates and local and local politicians in discussions surrounding needed improvements. They have organized river cleanups to reduce public pollution in our waters and have started the conversation about the feasibility of composting and improved recycling at the high school. As active and engaged citizens, these seniors have demonstrated the skills and aptitudes of students who make Attleboro proud and who enter the world with a skilled foundation built for success. It is therefore my honor and privilege to present this year's Doug Matthews Environmental Impact Awards to seniors Cameron McClearly, Emily Antonick, Ashley Mesha, and Adriana Anderson. The next award I'll be presenting is the Project Unite Leadership Award. The Project Unite Leadership Award goes to, student or, to a student or students who go above and beyond to support coaches, athletes, and volunteers through Project Unite and the Attleboro Area Special Olympics School Day Games. The Special Olympics Volunteer Oath states, I promise to give up the time of, in my life so that Special Olympics athletes have the time of their lives. I promise to support the Special Olympics not just as an expression of charity, but as a form of respect for my fellow human beings. I promise to spread the world word of volunteerism because in giving, I receive so much more in return. Both of this year's recipients have been volunteering for the Special Olympics since their freshman year. Enthusiastically supporting our event, whether it was dressing up and jumping into a pool of ice cold water or running into a freezing lake, thoughtfully planning age and skill appropriate activities for athletes of all ages, or offering encouragement and support to fellow Project Unite leaders and advisors. Therefore, it is with great pleasure that I present this year's Project Unite Volunteer of the Year, Volunteer of the Year Awards to seniors Sydney Delito and Cameron Larson. The final award I'll be presenting tonight is the Experiential Learning Volunteer of the Year Award. This is presented to a student who has made significant service contributions to our school and community over the last year. This year's recipient has been an active member of our school community since she arrived on the scene as a freshman. She's an active member of class council and student council and has served as one of two student representatives on the school committee for the past two years. She has served as the registration coordinator for the Adderall School Day Games for the past two years. With that title, she's the main point person for over 35 coaches who register 850 athletes. She's a whiz at promptness and professionalism. Emails are always answered, and many of our team's coaches noted her support as one of the main reasons last year's event went so smoothly. Now this year is panning out a little different, but I would be amiss to, acknowledge, to not acknowledge her leadership in organizing the coordination of this year's Polar Plunge. With countless hours spent creating and editing 
our spreadsheet rosters, the 120 students who signed up and took the plunge. An amazing member of the Attleboro Public Schools community and a great leader, it is therefore my pleasure to present this year's Leadership of the Year Award to junior Eleanor Graber. I would now like to introduce Athletic Director, Mr. Mark Cool, who will present the Athletic Achievement Awards. Congratulations to all the students being recognized this evening, especially the class of 2020. Thank you for representing AHS with Blue Pride. I'll be presenting three awards, the MIAA Awards, Blue Pride Athletic Achievement Awards, and the Howard O'Hare Sportsmanship Award. I'd like to thank our coaches for nominating our candidates. The MIAA Leadership and Community Service Pillar Awards are presented to juniors who have demonstrated the power of positive influence as a role model and outstanding contributions to the school community. The MIAA Leadership Pillar Award is presented to Gabriella Bosch, Bailey Camacho, and Cassandra Stuger. The MIAA Community Service Pillar Award is presented to William Rooney III. Our Blue Pride Athletic Achievement Award is presented to student athletes who have demonstrated the commitment and sacrifices needed to excel in the athletics throughout four years at Attleboro High School. This award highlights the athletes' passion to compete at their highest level, resulting in a positive impact on teammates and the athletic program. Our Blue Pride Athletic Award is presented to the following students. Anna Beck, Timothy Callahan, Qualim Charles, Ashley Dame, Michael Russo, Sydney Delito, Alvaro Espinal, Isabella Gazzaro, Jack Handy, Mackenzie Killo, Jessica Matheson, and Nick McMahon. Congratulations. Our Howard O'Hare Sportsmanship Award recognizes one male and one female student athlete who has demonstrated the values in academics, athletics, and sportsmanship. These two student athletes have set high standards in the classroom and the athletic arenas. They have led their teams as captains, selected as league and state all-stars, and set school records. A female award recipient, captain, captain of our swim team, member of our unified basketball and track teams. She was also recognized as a Hockamock League Scholar Athlete. She is a four-time Hockamock League All-Star and a four-time league champion in the 100 breaststroke and owns the AHS record with a time of one minute and eight seconds. Also a record holder in both the 200 free relay and the 100 breaststroke relay. She'll be attending American University and studying political science and international relations with part while participating on the swim team. Congratulations, Jacqueline Lynch Bartek. Our male award recipient, member of a basketball and unified basketball teams. He's a three-time Hockamock League All-Star and League MVP. Being named Boston Globe and Boston Herald All-Scholastic and Massachusetts Basketball Coaches Association self-sectional team. He finished his career with 1,137 career points, being fourth all-time for boys basketball. He will be attending Emmanuel College and studying business management while participating on the basketball team. Congratulations, Brian Sissio. On behalf of all the coaches and athletes, I would like to thank and, and congratulate this year's award winners. Our next presenter, is Miss Lindsay Nygod for the Art Awards. Thank you. Hello, and thank you for joining me in recognizing this year's outstanding student artists. Art making is an endeavor that requires much thought, focus, and a mastery of craft. Visual art making is a language, a powerful way to express through imagery that which may be difficult to communicate through spoken or written word. 
The Young Artist, recognized for the Excellence in Visual Arts Awards, pay attention to detail and craftsmanship with an ability to solve artistic problems in an imaginative way. It is these students who often serve as an inspiration to their peers. The students acknowledged are exemplars of all of these qualities. The art department proudly recognizes the following students for their innovation, creativity, enthusiasm, and dedication to the visual arts. In the category of excellence in two-dimensional studies, Taina Castillo, Rena Dano, Madison Ellis, Marlena Fitzpatrick, Cassandra Harris, Katie Jewett, Kyra Lally, Audrey Sears, and Laura Woyton. In the category of pottery, Maya Allo and Madison Ellis. In excellence in jewelry and metalsmithing, Faith Morehouse and Haley Rosati. Excellence in sculpture, Brian Anders, Lizbeth Pereira Lemus, and Louis Volp. And finally, the James F. Hall Award for Outstanding Achievement in 3D Computer Animation, Owen Strobel. Thank you, and once again, congratulations to these outstanding student artists. Presenting next for the music department is Ms. Katie McCarthy. Good evening. It is my pleasure to announce the awards for the Attleboro High School Music Department. The National School Choral Award is the highest honor for high school choral performers. It recognizes the dedication and musical achievement of the top choral students. This year, the National School Choral Award is pre presented to Samantha Greenslade and Cameron Martin. The John Philip Sousa Award was introduced in 1955 to honor the top student in the high school band. This award recognizes superior musicianship and outstanding dedication. This student has gone above and beyond in terms of dedication to the program. He is a member of concert band, marching band, jazz band, percussion ensemble, the pit ensemble, has accompanied the AHS mixed chorus and select choir, and even composed and arranged cadences for the drumline. He has been a three-year section leader for the percussion section, securing the position in his sophomore year. He is the vice president of the band, as well as our stage manager. While he has been contributing above and beyond to the music department, he has also excelled with his academics, specifically as part of the engineering CTE. He will be majoring in electrical engineering at UMass Amherst, while also potentially balancing a music minor and auditioning for the prestigious University of Massachusetts Minuteman Band Drumline. The John Philip Sousa Award is presented to Ryan Gordon. The Louis Armstrong Jazz Award is recognized as the top senior jazz award, the highest level interscholastic award given to a musician. It is given out by high schools nationwide in the United States in recognition of outstanding musical achievement and incredible dedication to the program. This student has grown as a musician and leader throughout his time in the program. He is a member of concert band, marching band, jazz band, and percussion ensemble. He has gone from being the only member of a section to the section leader of nine trumpets. He has raised the standard of the trumpet section and has become a role model for the entire band. As one half of our fundraising leadership, he also organized several successful fundraisers for our fall season. He will be continuing his education at Ohio University, where I'm sure he will continue to thrive academically and musically. The Louis Armstrong Jazz Award is presented to Evan Capper. The Quincy Jones Musicianship Award honors students for their creativity and musicianship. In his long musical career, Quincy Jones has done it all as a composer, arranger, performer, producer, and teacher. Every music program has those students who share this boundless energy and musical versatility. In their time at AHS, this student has played too many instruments to count, has been involved in every offered musical ensemble, won an award for their music compositions and arrangements at this year Massachusetts Theater Guild Preliminary Festival, and has held the leadership positions of drum major and president of our Tri-M Honor Society 
just to name a few of their accomplishments. They will go on to Nazareth College to pursue a degree in music education and become a music teacher themselves. This year, Quincy Jones Musicianship Award is presented to Nat Rivet. The Leonard Bernstein Musicianship Award honors students whose musical contributions, dedication, and creativity set them apart as deserving of the highest recognition of their achievements. In his positions of vice president and president of the concert band, this student is the literal heart of our department. In terms of dedication, he has taken on organizing our 20 student leadership team, leading the band in warm-ups and cheers, and being a constant ray of positivity. He has played multiple percussion instruments and has been our lead piano player for jazz band for four years. He has also earned the distinction of Eagle Scout through renovating his church's kitchen and excelled academically. He will be attending Westfield State University, majoring in elementary education. Any student will be lucky to learn from this future educator. This year's Leonard Bernstein Musicianship Award is presented to William Smith. Thank you. I would now like to introduce Mr. Jeremy Gay, Director of CTE for Career and Technical Education Awards. Good evening. Each year, the Massachusetts Association of Vocational Administrators, in conjunction with the Massachusetts Vocational Association, award a senior from each vocational school with the Outstanding Vocational Technical Student Award. The students are selected after an exhaustive review of their CTE programming academic grades in their service to community. And it is with great pride and pleasure that this year, Attleboro High School's recipient from Computer Information Systems is Tiziana Hernandez. Now I would like to announce the seniors by program. In Automotive, Destiny Massey. In Carpentry, John Jennings. Computer Information Systems, Tiziana Hernandez. Criminal Justice, Tizia Hernandez. Culinary Arts, Alex Edgar. Graphic Design and Communications, Julia Juarez. Early Education and Care of Children, Shanice Tolliver. From Electrical, Nathaniel Fazante. Engineering, Ryan Gordon. From Medical Assisting, Henry Botang. And from Plumbing, Justin Nicholas. I would now like to introduce Ms. Kelly Reed, who will do the English Awards. The English Awards are given to students who demonstrate excellence in the field of English language arts. There are awards for all four years of English, as well as awards for excellence in advanced placement language and composition and advanced placement literature and composition. I'm pleased to announce that this year's English award recipients are as follows. In ninth grade, Madison Bell, Abigail McMahon, Trinity Medeiros, Riley Perino. In 10th grade, Kaylin Brousseau, Natasha Gutierrez, Michaela Lamoureux, Ella Lynch Bartek, Amber Massey, Lindsay Perry, Ella Roy, and Diana Sikaju. In 11th grade, Jasmine Mavi and Margaret Nachi. In 12th grade, Emily Rosen and Jessica Boynton. The awards for excellence in advanced placement language and, co and composition go to Al Alyssa Alvi Avidi, Diana Bluen, Peyton Crow, Allison Morin, Kelly Noonendorf. And finally, the awards for excellence in advanced placement literature and composition go to Corin Carpenter, Hannah Garropy, and Caitlin Silva. Congratulations to all the award recipients. Up next, I'd like to introduce Mr. Peter Pereira, the World Language Department Coordinator. Buenas noches, damas y caballeros. I am Peter Pereira, the World Language Department Coordinator. I would like to begin 
with the awards for the highest achievement students in the world language courses. For American Sign Language One, we have Caden Costa. For American Sign Language Two, we have Corinne Carpenter. For Spanish One, we have Megan Ferreira and Ayla Santoro. For Spanish Two, we have Sarah McMahon and Scott White. For a Spanish three, we have Amanda Burns and Arini Ogotti. And for a Spanish four, we have Derek Rivet. Congratulations for your great accomplishments. For the last 48 years, the World Language Department has awarded the excellent awards in the language taught at Attleboro High School. In order to receive this honor, a student must have the highest grade point average for all the years of study of that language. These awards, are presented by the Massachusetts Foreign Languages Association, as well as the Northeast Conference on the Teaching of Foreign Languages. It is with great pleasure that I present our top scholars in world languages. For excellence in American Sign Language, we have Nat Rivet. For leadership in Spanish, Cristina Gonzalez. And for excellence in Spanish, we have Veronica Esteban. Congratulations to everyone receiving awards this evening. May I present Ms. Lori Carlos, the Mathematics Department Coordinator. Thank you, Mr. Pereira. The Mathematics Department would like to congratulate several outstanding math students tonight. First, the Patricia Izzy Excellence in Mathematics Award. This award simply goes to the senior with the highest grade point average in the mathematics department. Congratulations, Eric Yip. Next, Alice T. Schaefer was one of the founding members of the Association for Women in Mathematics. The Alice T. Schaefer Award this year goes to Ashley Dane. Grace Murray Hopper was a pioneer of modern computer programming software. This student fully embodies her work ethic and values the Grace Murray Hopper Award goes to Dom Myung. Euclid was a Greek mathematician, often referred to as the founder of geometry. The Next Generation Euclid Award goes to an underclassman exhibiting great potential in this discipline. Congratulations, Rachel Taylor. The Advanced Placement Awards go to six different scholars. Ryan Berry and Kyle Norman for their excellence in AP Calculus, Aaron Luciano and Derek Rivette for their outstanding efforts in AP Computer Science, and Samuel Block and Francis Wenner for their expertise in AP Statistics. Next, the AHS Mathematics Achievement Award recognizes students who have excelled in all of their advanced level math classes taken so far. Nominated by their teachers are Christian Dame, Trinity Harrison, Tiziana Hernandez, Ella Lynch Bartek, and Alondra Martinez. The Applied Mathematics Award recognizes excellence in some of our elective courses, such as banking, statistics, personal financial literacy, and computer science fundamentals. The four recipients this year are Daniel Callery, 
Deanna Graham, Caitlin Silva, and Molly Turner. Finally, I would like to recognize several outstanding underclassmen in the areas of geometry and algebra. The Excellence in Geometry Awards go to Kelly Doherty, Michael Lachance, Juliana Parsons, and Isaiah Treor. The Excellence in Algebra One Awards go to John Bluen, Victoria Ledoux, Charlie McKenna, and Isla Santaro. Congratulations to all. And now Ms. Catherine Botsford Milne will present the Science Awards. Good evening. The Science Department would like to award several freshmen who are excellent in the subject of physics. These students seem to have a knack and a mathematical talent for this subject. These students are Riley Chibataru, Emily Hang, Trinity Medeiros, and Henry Knapper Shack. This year's Sophomore Excellence in Science Awards are given to students who not only excel in biology, but also have completed chemistry in their sophomore year. These students are Ryan Brown, Victoria Ledoux, and Ella Lynch Bartek. The University of Rochester Bausch and Lomb Award is given to a junior who demonstrates excellence in all levels of science. This student is eligible to apply to compete for a scholarship to the University of Rochester for $30,000 over four years. This year's recipient is Allison Morin. The Kenneth L. Goding Chemistry Award is given to a student who excels in honors chemistry and AP chemistry. This year's recipient is Elizabeth Ramos. The Harry E. Cooper Biology Award is given to a student who excels in biological sciences. This year's recipient has taken not only AP environmental science, but also AP biology. She is Gabrielle Lozier. The American Association of Physics Teachers presents an award to the student who excels in advanced physics studies. This year's recipient, Kyle Norman, will be studying physics in college. And finally, James Gormley, a longtime Attleboro High School science teacher, was able to fix almost anything. He was always willing to assist when we were planning labs, was able to take any broken equipment and repair it. Basically, he was a do-all science person. He also had a drive to learn about his topic. This year's recipient of the James Gormley Award is Nathaniel Vasante. I'd like to introduce our next presenter, Mr. Brian Hodges of the Social Studies Department. Good evening. I have the honor of presenting this year's Social Studies Awards. The students receiving these awards tonight have demonstrated the curiosity and intellectual skills to use the past as a means to understand the present, and in many cases demonstrated the ability to take that knowledge and practically apply it in order to improve their communities. They are deserving of our highest praise, and it's my pleasure to be able to recognize their accomplishments. The awards for excellence in World History II go to Osmelani Perez and Rachel Taylor. The awards for excellence in United States History A and B go to Lillian Bedecker and Fabian Kibafi. The awards for excellence in United States History C and D go to Andre Butler, Diana Carvalho, Dennis Field, Erin McNally, and Faith Morehouse. The awards for excellence in advanced placement world history go to Ella Lynch Bartek and Abigail Plisga. The awards for excellence in advanced placement United States history go to Alicia Cronin, Peyton Crow, and Rifa Tumpa. The awards for excellence in advanced placement psychology go to Tyler Novak McDonald and Caitlin Silva. The awards for excellence in social studies and civic engagement go to Derek Rivette, 
C.J. Westwater, and Benjamin Wood. Lastly, the Daughters of the American Revolution Award. The National Society of the Daughters of the American Revolution certifies that Benjamin Wood has been selected as the DAR Good Citizen of Attleboro High School for the current year and having, de having demonstrated the qualities of dependability, service, leadership, and patriotism is hereby awarded this DAR Good Citizen Certificate. Congratulations, Ben. I'd now like to introduce Ms. Jen Thibodeau for the Honors Program Awards. Thank you, Mr. Hodges. And now it is my pleasure to announce the 2019-2020 Honors Program Diploma recipients. They are Adriana Anderson, Kylie Baroub, Samuel Block, Lauren Brown, Tim Callahan, Ashley Dame, Sydney Delito, Nicholas Edwards, Veronica Esteban, Nathaniel Fazante, Emily Giddle, Jenna Giddle, Lily Hagopian, Jack Handy, Megan Hill, Samir Kanji, Cameron Larson, Gabrielle Lozier, Jacqueline Lynch Bartek, Ashley Maysher, Cameron McClary, Kaylee McKenna, Nicholas McMahon, Caitlin McMahon, Faith Morrison, Kyle Norman, Jordan Noons, Aaron Patel, Rushi Patel, Ashley Pierce, Rachel Priestley, Kevin Roskowski, Patrick Roskowski, Elizabeth Ramos, Derek Rivette, Emily Rawson, Sophia Salvati, Caitlin Silva, Rayliana Stewart, Emily Vivenzio, Kayla Vivenzio, Sophia Wyland, CJ Westwater, and Eric Yip. Congratulations to all of the recipients for reaching the high bar set by this diploma distinction. And now I'd like to introduce our assistant principal, Mr. Kevin Gorman, for the book awards. Thank you. Thank you for tuning into this special program, and I'd like to start by wishing everyone good health, both for you and your loved ones. I'm honored to present a number of special recognition and book awards to deserving members of our student body, namely the junior class. I have over two dozen commendations to present, so I'll get right to it. The Bay Path College Book Award is presented to a member of the current junior class. The focus at Bay Path is on preparing students to become professionals and leaders in their fields through a dynamic curriculum guided by core values. The award is given annually to a select group of elite high school students from New York and New England. The AHS recipient of this year's award is Kelly Neuendorf. The Elmira College Key Award is awarded to a junior who demonstrates both academic achievement and outstanding school and community leadership. The winner of this award is eligible for a scholarship of $80,000 over four years. Congratulations to Amanda Burns. The Harvard Prize Book Award is given to the outstanding student in the next graduation graduating class who displays excellence in scholarship and high character combined with achievement in other fields. The winner of this award 
through their intelligence and variety of achievement, exemplifies Harvard's concern for excellence. This award is sponsored by Mr. James H. Anderson, class of 1969, and is given to Diana Bluen. The Lemoyne College Heights Award recognizes a high school junior who is reaching for the heights in the classroom and in service to their school and community. It is intended to help promote and recognize academic achievement, service, and leadership. The winner is eligible for a scholarship of $55,000 over four years. This year's recipient is William Rooney III. The Rensselaer Medal honors the junior who has achieved excellence in an exceptional mathematics and science program. The recipient has demonstrated the potential for success in a science or technology related profession. Each medalist who is accepted and subsequently enrolls at Rensselaer Pence Polytechnics Institute receives a scholarship of $30,000 annually for four years, totaling $120,000. This year's winner is Scott White. The Frederick Douglass and Susan B. Anthony Award is bestowed upon a student who has demonstrated commitment to understanding and addressing difficult social issues and has strong grades and rigorous courses taken in the humanities and social sciences. Congratulations to Harini Ogati. The George Eastman Young Leaders Award is given to a student who has strong leadership experience at school and in the community and has extensive involvement in extracurricular activities. This year's recipient is Gabriella Bosch. The University of Rochester Xerox Award for Innovation and in Information Technology goes to a student who has a strong in interest in this field demonstrates a high level of achievement, has been exposed to new technologies outside of school, and has led other students to new approaches to old problems. This year's recipient is Dennis Field. The St. Michael's College Book Award for Scholarship and Service seeks to recognize students who exhibit the characteristics of an ideal St. Michael's student based specifically on achievement in academics and community service. This year, we have two recipients, Alicia Cronin and Trainer Shirk. The Society of Women Engineers Certificate of Merit is offered to young women who have demonstrated high achievement in science and mathematics. Award recipients must have completed three years of science and three years of mathematics with distinction and must be students who have been active citizens of the school or community. There are three award winners this year. Molly Brassel, High Honors, Harini Ogati, Highest Honors, and Jessica Woyton, Highest Honors. The Student Sage Scholarship Nomination Program at the, Sa at the Sage Colleges of Albany allows schools to nominate high school juniors who demonstrate outstanding academic achievement Student nominees, if selected, will be eligible for a scholarship to one of the Sage Colleges of Albany. Congratulations to this year's five winners. Ryan Berry, Grace Calderon, Peyton Crow, Anastasia Leonardo, and Michael Strachan. The Wellesley College Book Award honors a female student in the current junior class whose academic record and character are exceptional and who has also made significant personal contributions to her school or the community. This year's award goes to Allison Morin. The George Washington University Book Award recognizes one high school junior who embodies the GW drive and spirit specifically with their academic excellence, leadership outside of the classroom, diversity of thought, and ability to put knowledge into action. 
The recipient will receive George Washington's leadership lessons, their application fee will be waived, and if admitted, become eligible for the George Washington Book Award Scholarship. This year's award winner is Kevin Rebello. The LaSalle College Book Award honors a student who embodies the LaSalle motto, Repulsia Nessia, ignorant of defeat. The recipient should consistently pursue the greatest version of herself. In short, she never seems to quit. Campbell Compton is this year's recipient. In a global marketplace, mathematics and science skills are critical for the next generation of American professionals. One mission of the J. Lim Foundation is to help students reach their full potential in these subjects through grants to schools and educational organizations. In the process, the foundation hopes that it achieve, it, its initiatives inspire others to make contributions in their communities. The J. Lim Foundation awards recognize outstanding juniors, one in the area of math and one in the area of science. Each recipient will receive a $1,000 scholarship toward college. This year's science winner is Eleanor Graber, and this year's math winner is Harini Ogati. The Springfield College Award is awarded to an exemplary member of the junior class who aligns with the college's mission of education, educating the whole person in spirit, mind, and body for leadership and service to others. This year's recipient is Alyssa Alvidi. The Brandeis Book Award for Social Action and Civic Engagement is awarded to a student who has demonstrated academic success and commitment to community service, political activism, social justice, and or volunteerism. Congratulations to Cassandra Stuger. The St. Lawrence University Book Award honors a junior that has distinguished themselves in their community by their significant commitment to community service. This year's winner is Abigail Phillips. The Suffolk University Book Award honors a student that has exhibited a commitment to education and their school community. This year's recipient is Hannah Webster. This concludes our 2020 Book Awards, but I still have several students to honor. The Elks Youth Leadership Awards are given to students who have demonstrated academic success involvement in school and community activities, and are committed to being good citizens of our community. This year's eight recipients are Aidan Dorenzo, Kaylee Fitzgerald, Eniula Alagun, Megan Panzer, William Rooney III, Rachel Sullivan, Joshua Tews, and Daniel White. This concludes my portion of awards night. Congratulations to all of the award recipients and their families. I will now turn it over to Mr. Rooney for the conclusion of the program. Thank you, Mr. Gorman. Next, I would like to acknowledge that our next event will be the scholarship night, at which time we will also announce the valedictorian and salutatorian of the Attleboro High School class of 2020. Stay tuned for the date and time. In closing, I would like to thank our presenters, Double ACS and our events manager, Katie Rigo, for organizing tonight's festivities. Please accept my best wishes for a safe navigation of this difficult time. Once again, congratulations and good night. Mm -hmm.